All right, guys. So as a follow up to Kim Jong Jo's <laughs> new mandates uh, for you know federal employees to be vaccinated and to try to push uh, private businesses to have all their employees be vaccinated, um, I came across some pretty funny responses to Joe Biden's new mandates on TikTok, and this one response just had me dying. Take a look. We've been patient. But our patience is wearing thin. Fool talking about my patience is wearing thin. Who the f are you talking to? As long as your patience don't get as thin as that hairline, I think we'll be all right. I am not your child. You what? And I'm sure enough ain't your You talking about your patience is wearing thin. These people have lost. They acting like they, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like they paying your bills and you down. You got to watch, you fool. I saw that little clip. I said, "Oh, he's crazy. He, he really think he, he he really think I'm his." My patience is wearing thin. I need you to get out on that boulevard and bring me my money. You ain't my. What the hell is wrong with these people? He really said that out of his mouth. But our patience is wearing thin. You bald head. See, see, see. I'm trying. I thank God. See, that's Danny calling me right now, trying to save, trying to save my mouth. All right, guys, so that is hilarious for multiple reasons. And I, I wish I could play it uncensored, okay, because it's even more hilarious uncensored. Um, but unfortunately, I can't, right? I got to keep it family friendly or at least attempt to, okay, even though we're all adults here. Um, yeah, that's hilarious for multiple reasons, right? I, I was really dying uh, when she was like, oh, he's crazy, <laughs> right? I'm like, yeah, he is crazy, <laughs> okay? I mean, she's thinking what probably a, a majority of Americans are thinking about Biden right now. Dude is crazy. Insane, out of his mind. But what I really um, like about that video, guys, is the fact that she kind of points out what a lot of conservatives have been arguing in terms of what's wrong with this, right? Which is the paternalistic relationship that the government thinks that they have with people, right? And which was like, yeah, Biden's like, oh, uh, our patience is wearing thin. It, it's almost like you're talking to children, right? It's, it's almost like he thinks that the American people is his children, right? You ain't talking to Hunter Biden, okay? You ain't talking to Hunter. You're talking to people who actually act like adults, right? <laughs> I'm not sure if you classify Hunter as an adult in terms of how he acts, right? He might be an adult in age, but I'm not sure about in the way he acts. And I'm not sure Biden realizes that. And I think that's why so many people had such a big issue with his speech and what he said. Right. His delivery was low key disrespectful. You're talking to people like they can't make their own decisions. And, you know, somebody in the comment section uh, while I saw this video was like, oh, I bet she's vaccinated. And I'm like, that's not the point. Right. Whether she's vaccinated or not, it doesn't matter. Right. She probably is vaccinated. If she is good for her. Great. But the thing is, guys, that the point of what Biden's trying to do is that it almost seems to me that. They're trying to divide the vaccinated and unvaccinated. The same way they try to divide us based off race. The same way they try to divide us based off sex. The same way they try to divide us based off um, sexual orientation, right? I'm not sure people realize this, but politicians specialize in creating division in this country, right? They specialize in dividing people based off certain characteristics and qualities, right? That's what they do. And it is clear that, you know, Biden's agenda when it came to that speech was to try to divide America by vaccinated and unvaccinated to shame people for their personal medical choices. Right. And in my opinion, I, I, I just think that that's wrong. And I think that's something that's a very dangerous path. So when I see stuff like this, again, I, I, I think that it kind of encompasses how a lot of people are feeling about what Joe is saying. And that's why I say that. They're not really helping their case, right? If their whole thing is we want more people to be vaccinated, the worst thing that you can do is to take the approach that Biden's taking. I mean, even Jake Tapper, right, was like, I don't know about this. I'm not sure if this is the best approach. I don't think scolding is the approach. I right, so when even you got Jake Tapper on CNN, right, uh, basically the Democrat News Network, <laughs> DNN really is what it should be called. When you got DNN uh, basically saying that I don't know if that was a good idea, then it, it probably wasn't a good idea, right? It probably wasn't a good idea. So, 
like I said, man, again, I, I just found it hilarious uh, what she said. I think a lot of people kind of felt the way she felt about this speech. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.